So when you attach this to your belt, or wrap this around your waist, which is mandatory, it has the two little clips here to be able to clip it onto yourself and adjust it accordingly. Just like on an aeroplane, pull this strap. So once you appropriate that around yourself, and I'll just demonstrate that quickly. So ensure that you've got the belt appropriated, like so. So the flat side goes to your belt and you, will, you can put it on like this. Grab the two straps, pull them up like so, clip the buckle, pull the strap. So then I've got a blast helmet ready to go on my head and the air conditioner, as we call it, is here on the back of me. So if I have that exhausting if I bend down, I can actually have that in just the right spot to shoot air into my body, or even worse, in a sensitive part of your body, you can actually bend down and impreg yourself, impregnate yourself with air. So it's important that if I'm going to bend down, what is it doing? Well, I'll be honest with you, why would you want to exhaust this air out of here when I want all the air to come up here? So by venting that is of no consequence whatsoever. The only time I would open that, if I was in an awkward spot with the helmet on and I thought, whew, I'm getting too much air, I would then open that, but make sure it's shooting out to the side just for that short period of time. Predominantly you want that closed, because remember what I said about moisture leak off? You leak the moisture off up that end. Close this valve. If I'm getting too much air, go back to your Radex filter and turn the regulator down if I'm getting too much air. Does that make sense? So instead of having that exhausting and leaving myself open to accidental damage or even worse, death, if you get it in the right place, close the valve, appropriate the air at that end, ensure that you've got sufficient air so that the abrasive and the dust doesn't come up through the helmet. This line goes on one way attach helmet this end, ensure that you do it the appropriate manner. So when that you finish for the day, that all of this is cleaned up and stowed in the appropriate manner. When I say it's stowed in the appropriate manner, hang it up. And the other aspect of it, of course, is that inside the helmet, underneath the skirt, you've got a bib that secures or seals around your neck, but inside also, there's pads that are all demountable. So what we do with these pads of a night, if you've sweat, sweated or perspired profusely during the day, give them a wash with warm soapy water and detergent, rinse them thoroughly, hang them up to dry. So tomorrow when you come in, there's that, not that pungent smell of perspiration in the helmet. So everything inside this helmet is demountable. You can wash the whole thing. And it's all about personal care and cleanliness as well. If you're sharing the helmet with someone else, you will need to use a disinfectant as well. Primarily because this is foam and it can harbour bacteria. It's important to have your own helmet for that particular reason. So all of this is demountable, washed, cleaned, dried, repaired or replaced, back into the helmet, ready for the following day. So if you look after this, this will look after you. So remember, keep it clean. Be careful of the air conditioner. Make sure you have it around the right way. If you want hot air, invert it. If you want uh, cold air, invert it again. These particular fittings are spring-loaded and they are a particular ferrule to suit that fitting. So it's not a common fitting. Why is that? This yellow line is for breathing air only. It has a weird ferrule based fitting to marry with this particular fitting with a spring loaded lock. So the reason why we make them like that is so that you can't get your spray gun, plug it in there and go off spraying something or using it for an alternate use. Because you see this is designed to have the Radex filter on it. If you take this hose and plug it straight into the compressor, you can as I described earlier, contaminate the internal wall of this particular hose 
So when unawares you plug that back in after someone's used it for spray painting, you expose yourself to any contaminants that might have been pushed into that line from alternate air. So this goes with this, goes with Radex. They all marry up together overnight. And important, importantly, this is hung up to dry. So the other end, the, fee, the male end of this, is taken off the Radex filter and plugged in so that it can't get dust, dirt, water impregnating or being left in the lines. So it's clear and clean and dry, ready for use the next day. The Radex filter also, it's important to remember, because it's a coalescing filter, you would not leave that in, in, toxic, in a toxic solvent environment. 